ain't got no job, and you ain't got no skills, boy, you can't handle that, boy. You trash. Like that, stepping over me like that's disrespectful. Disrespectful? What is there to respect? Yeah, boy, if you had an occupation next to your name, maybe you could get some respect, boy. Go get you a job. Man, anyway. Basis, but they might just be doing that these days with the pictures. And the I can read, man. Uh, uh, my bad, my bad. Woman, double woman. Uh, oh, you're probably upset about the tail whooping in the on the basketball court, right? I didn't get my tail whooped, man. I was up forty to ten, man. I was whooping your tail. Okay, I'm not gonna argue because you know I'd be the bigger woman in all this. Man, man, that's what I meant. Man, man, woman, man, woman, <laughs> woman, no, what a man, man, woman, <laughs> man. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, what are you reading in the newspaper? Look, I, I'm just kind of scrolling through the Byron Banner here, you know, just, just kind of looking for an occupation that'll match my skill set, you know? What skill set? Man, I can... Look, I got lots of skills, man. Lots of skills. Um, uh, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of skills. Uh, lots of things I can do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Plenty. Plenty. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots. Plenty. Plenty lots. And lots and plenty. A lot. Really a lot. Um, like, I can dig dirt. You know what I'm saying? Like, scoop. Scoop the dirt. I can, I can pick grass too, man. Like, when I played baseball back in the day, man, I would sit out in the outfield and pick the grass, man. I was really good at that, man. Like, I'm the guy, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, plenty of skills. That, that's very, very cute. Hold on. What do you mean, that's cute? Are you making fun of me right now? <laughs> well, you know, technically you've been, uh, looking for a job for the past year and a half. Man, you've been criticizing and roasting me for too long, man. I'm gonna get a job, man. I'm gonna get a job, then find a job. I'm gonna get it and then find it after I get it. And I'm gonna keep that job. And trust me, Laurel Leroy Perkins, mark my words, is gonna be a working man. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. are you gonna race slot cars? Hold on. Are you taking? Are you not taking me seriously right now? No, of course not. Um, I have them ready. Look, man. Look, I'm gonna get a job, and it's gonna be a good job, a good paying job, man. It's gonna be a good paying job. And look, I'm gonna bust my tail until I get it. Laurel's in the house, man. Getting a job. I guess we're never gonna race slot cars then. day at work. <sighs> hey, Lee. Oh, no. So, did you just uh, come back from work? Yes. See, man, I was wondering, man. So, like, what exactly do you do at, uh, at your job? Like, what do you do exactly? You know what I do. I mean, look, I know that you're going to work and stuff, but, like, what specifically do you do there? My job. Look, I know that you do your job and stuff, but, like, where do you go to do your job? To work. Okay, yeah. When you go to work, though, what do you do when you get there? My job. <clears throat> okay. But what is, like, the specific uh, description of your job? I'm an employee. You're an employee. Well, see, I figured that. I figured you didn't, like, own your own business, you know? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, but that'd be crazy. Like, that'd be crazy. So are you saying I'm always going to be an employee? No, man, no, no, don't take offense to that. Man, look, I'm just saying you're kind of young. I mean, like, you're younger than me. Like, you're just kind of young to own your own business, like, right now and stuff like that. But trust me, man, you're doing well right now. You're doing well where you are. And trust that. So what's the point of this conversation? The point of the conversation? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, I was kind of wondering, like, if, uh, like, you could slide by the big boss's office, if you know what I'm saying, and, like, uh, and, like, uh, get me a job over there at the company. You know what I mean? Like, brother-to-brother -brother connection, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No way. My boss said not to recommend losers. I'm going to do what he said. Man. I'm going to work. Come on down to Buzz Your Head Barbershop. Man, Granddaddy wish he had hair. Oh, oh. Hey, Curtis. Oh, oh. Hey, Curtis. Oh, yeah. <coughs> hey, boy! Oh, uh, 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 Billy? B Billy? Uh, uh, boy, that's Billy? your son from Zimbabwe! Oh, yeah. I named him, though. Boy, boy, uh, I don't know if I ever asked you this, but, uh, how many kids you got? Um... Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh,
Oh yeah, these these them good crackers. These them good crackers, huh? Oh, oh. Man, them, them crackers. Oh, expired January 1974. Man, it feels like I just got these crackers. I I went to the record shop, got the new Marvin Gaye album, and then I got these crackers. And they already expired? Man! Hey, Granny! Oh! Hey, boy! How are you doing? I'm doing alright. Is you ready to go on a big vacation? A vacation? Yeah, boy, we're gonna go down to the beach, boy. We're gonna we're gonna get on them them uh them uh go karts and uh and the the, the nice restaurants and a nice hotel. All, all, all five of us. Uh, uh, all who? All five of us. You you you, 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 you mean including Lorel? Yeah. Boy, is you kidding? Boy, that man, that absolutely not Lorel. I mean, we we gonna go as soon as he's out of this house. We gonna go on vacation, boy. That's the reason why we going on the vacation. Man, well, uh, what is wrong with man? Uh, look, I probably should check your temperature because you probably got the COVID. But you know, I just don't really want Laurel to just leave. You know. Boy, then that boy, you've gotten soft, boy. I thought you was like your granddaddy. I thought you was like me. But um, anyway. It's uh, one of Laurel's uh, colleagues for his new job. Now, boy, you better not mess this up so you can get Laurel back in this house, boy. Or I'll whoop your tail so hard you won't get a hemorrhoid. It's gonna happen. very proud. Boy, you better believe it. Look, this just goes to show you, if you are down and out and nobody respects you, you can rise to the top one day. And you said uh, you had a problem with respect? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about my grandson. You know the ugly one? The one that doesn't look like me? <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, what you talking about is a good one. I'm serious. That ain't no joke. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I don't look, 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 I don't care what it, whatever respected person you is, I don't even care. You can't talk to granddaddy like that. Oh, well, I'm sorry. What do I need to get you? A safe space to go and cry? Now, hold on one second. You respect your elders now. Look, I whoop your tail, love, boy. It's doctor love to you. I worked hard on that PhD, and I'll get the respect I deserve. No, I don't care about no PhD. You probably just gave it to you because they felt bad that you had such a ridiculous last name. <laughs> Look. Now I know you don't have what it takes to be in this profession. What? The job offer has been rescinded. No, that, this job ain't for me, it's for my grandson! Now, you mean to tell me you have a 75-year-old grandson? I mean, you look old, but man! 75-year-old man? Man, look well! Uh, yes, granddaddy? Oh, oh, hey, hey, Dr. Love? Um, who is this? And my grandson, Laurel Perkins. Now, he told me he was a 75-year-old retired businessman with a PhD in business. What, boy? Now, you do not have what it takes to be a college professor. A college professor? That boy don't even got his GED. I told, I done told him before that he got to get GED before PhD, but apparently he must have not been listening. Uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm out of here. Man! I need to get a refund on that hotel. Sorry, forgot my keys. And you? You look like you could be a professor. I already make more money than the college professor. Thanks for nothing. Okay, 
Bye.